just to just to clarify it again, here's the uh, outside edge with a color. Just give it a color gradient, the inside piece. And all you're doing of all the options that you have, just go to the top left, unite, and that'll give you that uh, that section there. Okay. To select all of these, and just I can scroll back up just a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe right there. Just take the eyedrop tool and click on the yellow, and now it fills it all with what the attributes that were from the previous one, so you don't have to redraw it all the time. Okay. Take a look at this one again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 again. So just take the star tool. Let the smart guides help you with the center. Kind of locate just beneath it a little bit. Hold, hold the command key down and stretch it out so that it goes beyond the circle. And you're trying to look for just the right angle that cuts up into there. I'm going to reset this just to black to start off with and minimize it down a little bit. And again, then go back with the elliptical tool. Hold Option. This is going to the outside edge. So Shift key these. And remember, this one is divide. I'm sorry, intersect. So there's the intersection. Get the ellipse tool again. Put it right on the option and drag this up. So it just hits the bottom parts of these. Give that a color so you can see it. And just shift key to select them and go to Unite. Okay. Now with these two selected, I can just do the eyedropper to select that. And I'm just going to minimize these down just a little bit. So, and then you can group them together if it makes it easier to move them. And then the smaller gear, just a little bit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So do the same process. Here's the star tool. Option. Get back to a number. You can see there's five, six, seven, eight. And just kind of hold it right there. You can use the mouse. Hold the command key. Kind of get that angle. And there you go. So just going to go back to the beginning. No fill. A little bit smaller stroke so I can see what's going on. And just do the two circles with the pathfinder. So option for the outside edge. Special. And here's the intersect. Option goes a little farther. Use the Unite. Again, I can just click on the eyedropper and grab that one. Make this a little bit smaller, maybe. Shift key that. Okay, that's still fine. Minus that. This guy out. And with the circle, the blue circle, all I have to do is just option and duplicate it down here. That gives you that one. 